Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of U-Boat. In the last episode, I was deciding whether or not I wanted to intercept that convoy and decided against it, but now, as I thought about it for a little while, I think I kind of want to intercept it and just see where where it takes us. I mean, we do have a very low uh, stock of torpedoes, but maybe we can get another... Um, another effective uh, strike on uh, on some ships there so the first thing I'm gonna do is quickly go to um, dive to 30 meters that means hopefully that our captain will go back on yeah okay they're gonna just sprint back here perfect Knot some help here reloading that last torp. Herr Kaloy. Jawohl. Herr Kaloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Geleitzug. Okay, so yes, the ships are quite close to us. Only 50 kilometers away. It's a huge drain on our batteries right now as we enter, uh, uh, put the pump on as well, but it should be fine. Okay, so we know where the ships are. We're going to go surface again. And we're just going to slowly drift towards them. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor! Rohr 4 geladen. Alright, let's see if we can actually... See these ships? Yeah, is there anything on the horizon? Can't really see smoke yet or anything. We actually got two reputation points available. Let's check our headquarters. Look at that. We could get those. 16 days. Okay, yeah, that sounds improved torpedo pistols seems like a good idea. We already This is too expensive. This is all too expensive. Equipment production, I don't think we need... Ooh, the improved toilets! Mm. Okay, there are many ways to address this issue, but it has been neglected so far. Presence of a veteran officer... 
So it's either going to be toilets or sonar. Decoys is also too expensive, but I think I'm going to... Toilets or pistols. Hmm, 16 days. Which one is shorter? Oops, did I just set a course? Uh, 24 days. Okay, uh, yeah, let's 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 do the improved pis uh, pistols for torpedoes. We'll get our engineer on it. There we go. And we got some research going on. Excellent. Great. Where did I set my course to? Uh, Legen Sie den Kurs an. It's, it seems quite dark, actually, for being at 1 p.m. Batteries are full. We are getting some high fatigue here, so I think after this uh, mission, I'm definitely gonna need to take a vacation for the guys. So there's a lot of stuff to do. We never need to buy the diving suit. We need to get the guys on some vacations. So we do have a lot, uh, a good budget, though. We have uh, been a this has been a very successful patrol so far. We sank a few ships here. see this in our journal, I think. Huh? It says Mission 4. I thought this was only the third patrol. I guess we're already on the fourth one. Huh. We sunk the Empire Candadia, the Empire Kangaroo, and the Trumpet, and the Oligarch. So we already got four kills this, uh, this mission. Very successful. Okay, we'll continue on for like another 10 minutes here, 20 minutes maybe. this horizon and see if we can actually... Ah, this could be a smoke plume there. Just over the horizon, I think we're already... Ooh, look at that, that looks like another one. So we're heading directly towards it. Oh, there's more here. Oh, and here. So we're heading straight into it, actually. Let's uh, actually change our course a little bit so we're not in the middle of the convoy. Oh, look at that, there's more there, yeah, okay. So our course is now northwest, approximately.
ですよ。Top shape for this uh, this coming convoy rain. We have, the, we have no water in the bilge. Our map accuracy is seventy five percent and probably rising because gyro is on and we have uh, and our somebody on navigation perfect mm, I can't see the smoke plumes anymore that I just saw earlier. I wonder why that is. Is it? Oh, there, there's some. S oh, there's the smoke right here. Okay. My ship not going straight. I think we're turning slightly. That is weird. Is zero percent rudder not mean going? <laughs> I'm actually doing a circle. Interesting. Why was I turning to uh, Steuerbord there? Very odd. I th I'm still turning. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so the ships are almost uh, bearing 270 now. That's not what I wanted. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Ah, because uh, it constantly needs correction, I guess. Now we're heading straight towards the convoy again. Set the course a little bit more northwesterly direction. How's that reload of the deck gun going? Are they done? It's already finished. Quite the distance away. I still can't. I can still kind of see the smoke on the horizon, but uh, other than that, look at that. That's a lot of ships. Oh, <gasps> holy crap! Oh my god! One, two, three, four, five. There's a mass there already. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Okay, here are you, I can got twelve smoke plumes here on the horizon already. That's just that's a gigantic convoy. Holy Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. 
Alarm! Okay, we're uh, actually in range. Let's go to periscope depth. Sky attack periscope. Actually, commanding is probably better. Get this guy on here. Ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Geleitzug. That's a freighter. Where's that destroyer? It's also a freighter. Oh my god, look at that. It's also a, f a tanker. Freighter. Auf Seerohrtiefe. Okay, we're heading straight towards a warship here. Okay, 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 so we want to get... Alright, so this is going to be... I'm going to plot a course for this one. And I want to be at least a kilometer away from them. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf neun Uhr. We identified this one as a. rudimentary map work here okay 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 start doing some torpedo maintenance we're gonna need it and this guy I'm gonna get him on the depth keeping station because it was kind of rough season, I don't want the boat to change or break through like that. Okay, let's uh, plot an intercept course. I would like to focus that vessel. Where's that DD that should be f much closer? When D 
maybe these should be a little bit behind, no? Am I missing that one? 180 is probably too far, no. Did I miss it? Is that multiple ships behind? Oh my god, that's like three ships behind one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's that's a destroyer bearing thirty. another destroyer so the question is will I torp some destroyers probably I'm probably taking out some destroyers first it's gonna be uh, very helpful because they're not gonna speak uh, they're not gonna be able to hunt me then I have this one locked, so this one is much closer. Why can't I? Why it should be uh, bearing like what's what's the angle here? Thirty. Oh, that's the I'm doing the wrong calculation here. That's going to make it more complicated needlessly. Let's let's do it this way. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, why can't I select this? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, the game froze. Great. Okay, so it's 46. So it should be somewhere around here. So it is this it is this one then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's identify this guy. Submarine destroyer. If we're ooh. one mast, mast in the front, this looks very right. That's the V class. get a distance management on this bad boy. Four kilometers, okay, so we can get it quite a bit closer here.
Bestätigt. Close the distance a little bit more if I want to hit this guy. Or I could wait until I get right in the middle of all those fr juicy, juicy freighters. Yeah, this is uh, this is not easy. Take out some some destroyers first, and then attempt to sink some freighters later. I mean, there are a lot of escorts here, and they're all gonna be hunting me. So one less could mean the difference between life and death. Angled bow. I mean, once the ships know I'm here, I'm not going to be able to uh, torp anything else, right? I'm just going to be concentrated on fleeing the area because all that sonar and whatever is going to find me quite quickly. So there's no way I can stay here. If I torp one ship, I'm probably done for this convoy. So is it going to be a destroyer or... I mean, my primary objective is freighters. And although they are tempting targets, I'm not gonna win this uh, this war by just flinking one destroyer, <laughs> or this battle at least. I mean, ideally, I could torp two ships at the same time. So, if I can get between this guy
and this guy. I have a corridor of one and a half kilometers, I think. Yep. About here, I'd have a kilom uh, a nice short kilometer shot here and another short green shot here. So what's the bearing on that one? That's like bearing approximately 60. Let's check that one out. It's a tanker. That will be a very juicy target for sure. And I could get lucky and uh, ignite the fuel on board to cause an explosion, which means that after that one aft torpedo could be more than I need. Class, okay. No, oh, that's the wrong one. destroyer we're gonna let pass in front of us. The question is will I have enough time to get in the middle of these? I'm gonna pass very close to this destroyer, I gotta be careful. already wear off on the front here? Oh no, I got to. Oh, why was it why was I be able to perform maintenance on this one? There's still maintenance on it. And it's still warmed up here, that's odd. Destroyer. No reason to be concerned, guys. What alarm? Oh no! Oh god. Did he detect me? Oh. see me. 
I didn't hear a sonar ping. He's turning. Oh no! Oh, Rina! How did he detect me? I just came too close, I guess? That's not good. Okay, I didn't. I, th I guess I have passive sonar, and he heard me going by him with passive sonar. <laughs> That's not good at all. Time to fight. He's gonna ram me, I think. <laughs> Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Feuer an Deck. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Torpedoversager. Okay, we got a little bit of leakage. Herr Kaloy? Okay, <laughs> pretty unorthodox, I guess, but uh, my cabin is filling up with water. Can you fill hole in the side? How's my... I think my tower should be quite damaged as well here, but it doesn't look like... Uh, gotta fix the leaks first. This guy on repair. Yeah, what? Repair the pump. Force of these coordinates. I, I, Herr Kaloy. Okay, as soon as uh, this guy fixes. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got some guys that are Kapitän. quite injured here. Oh. Jawohl. Let's get these guys. Some help. Zu Befehl. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Hole in the starboard side. We got somebody on that already. Zu Befehl. Okay, let's repair the hatch at the conning tower. Set the water. Actually, I'm gonna need this guy to give this give this guy some extra sailors. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Bestätigt. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Okay, we're running low on spare parts. So we got three spare parts left. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Look at that. The aft torpedo launcher is going to be our um, our goal here. So let's get this turned around. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. No, I don't want to lock the light bolts. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. I don't know how I didn't die there. Way more tempting. Shoot. Okay, let's unlock this. No, I want to go to zero. I'm just going to shoot a torpedo. At this ship. Oh, we don't have it warmed up. Erledigt. 
take out that freighter. This is only a. This is a very short range shot, right? So if what is this a two? Is this a T one? You can go max speed. Um. Okay. If I go, there's thirty five knots. I don't even have the value for 44 knots here. Oh, that's too bad because that's in one minute. It's only go already going to go a kilometer, so it'll take like a, not even a minute to get there. The distance to target is going to be like what is it? It's going to be half a minute. So yeah, we're going to just try to a eyeball this one, I think, or should we? Why is this guy on the attack periscope? God damn it. Not oh actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Feuer an Deck. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Herr Kaloy. Okay, let's see. This guy is quite close. This is a Okay, what is the distance to target here? It's not very far, right? Okay, it's Let's shoot it. A little bit further, like this. Oh, wait. The, oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. No, that's... <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Los! Some blind torpedo shots here? Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Perfect. Feuer an Deck. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Okay, let's hope this guy sinks. So the... So that was... F Ooh, that's a lot. Oh. Sie oh, yeah! Okay, and now... It is time to get the F out of here. Kalori. 
My ship is dry. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Blue lighting. What's the what's the depth? Kapitän? Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Schneller, schneller! Oh, okay, very deep. Okay, we're gonna go to 150 meters. Maximum depth. And we're gonna plot a course out of this. Now the question is, will my boat remain dry? We got a lot of damage here. Look at that whole tower is destroyed up here. <laughs> I guess that's where the destroyer rammed us. <laughs> that is hilarious. I can't believe this. Hopefully I can get away with this. One torpedo left, but I'm not gonna risk it. We don't have any scrap metal in our storage here, okay, so I can't make any more spare parts right now. These guys got some good XP by repairing. 60. Herr Kaloy? Kapitän? Herr Kaloy? How are my injured crewmates? Are they fine again? 80. It was Ludka and another guy that was injured. Lut Luther, Luther, yeah, he seems uh, he seems still aboard. I'm still 18 out of 18 crew members. 90. I got so lucky when that this DD rammed me. He didn't wasn't able to drop any depth charges, I guess. Because they would have exploded right away and they probably injured him too, they, so they stopped dropping depth charges. Maybe that saved my life. Oh, I can see a lifeboat here. Can I see the wrecks? Oh, I have the wreck. Don't I have them on like uh, when I click yeah, this guy? What did I sink? I can tell in the journal, right? So I sink. V class Calgorite and Hin War Hindu. Calgor Calgorite. Not in this list. Kapitän, Jawohl, 150. Herr Kaloy. Looks like the, the hull is holding though, there's no water coming in my ship, that's awesome. It's still a lot deeper here as well, I could go deeper if I wanted to. I'm gonna go right underneath this ship. Okay, okay. I didn't identify at least one of those freighters that I sunk properly, so I'm not sure whether or not I may have um, auf diese sunk. Herr 
し。Strained and stressed. Yeah, I'm strained and stressed as well. And I think I may have sunk something that wasn't supposed to be a target because there's a bunch of Norwegian ships here as well. So it was very hectic. <laughs> oh man, didn't identify the target first. I'm kind of like Worf in that Deep Space Nine episode. Not sure if you guys are Star Trek fans, but he did the same thing. Shot at a civilian transport. Well, I guess by the journal, I would be able to tell. Algorite War Hindu. I mean, that's pr that that was the tanker, I think. So that sounds like.、Um, but the Calgarite, I'm unsure. Calgarite, if that was.、Uh, I mean, that all happened within like nine minutes, <laughs> like eleven minutes. I sunk three ships there and rammed a destroyer. Like a freaking hero, but it doesn't look like any of the destroyers are hunting me personally. The tribal class is kind of searching for me up there. Maybe I have a good thermal layer, and they can't detect me through the thermal layer as I'm. Sneaking away. I shouldn't even be able to detect these ships here because they're in my baffles. The baffles are behind my propellers. I'm not supposed to be able to hear behind those. So I, honestly, I shouldn't even be able to see these ships. If this was、uh, a simulation, I kind of would be blind to them. That's good. A little bit higher. Am I gonna risk it? Is, is this is this too greedy to start another attack? I mean, they look like they're kind of abandoned, looking for me entirely, though. Yeah, it looks like all the ships kind of went back to their original cores. Nobody's really weaving anymore. Oh, this is a war. This is definitely a warship. <laughs> We could try to take out another DD. Oh, that's a, that's also a warship. So these two, how far away are these from me? Can I risk it? Oh, that's that's quite that's quite some distance here, right? So let's、um, let's go to periscope depth. Just go observation for now. Auf Seerohrtiefe. So I should be somewhere around ninety degrees, or two. Sorry, two seventy. Can't I see them? My sight is that bad, huh? Why is the sight that bad? Is it just cloudy weather? But still damaged. My MG Turm.
there you go, it's quite far away. I mean, that was intense. You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm also behind it. I'd have to, like, maybe make another attack by getting a little bit away, circling around at high speeds and um, and doing another attack, but I'm, I, I've taken some serious damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my win here and uh, not be greedy. And of course, when I start the next episode, <laughs> I'll probably re-decide to, uh, to be greedy, which I was today. And I was very, very lucky that uh, it, it turned out okay. There's a wreckage here. Wrecked. So that was definitely British. Okay, that's good. And then this wreckage. Also British. Okay, that's also good. So I think I might be okay, actually. Why is my... Uh, oh, right. And how come... How come these guys are not getting rescued here? <laughs> Look at them! They're just sailing. I was like, yeah, fuck it, dude. You guys are good. You gotta wait for the next convoy. They'll be on in a couple of days or so. You'll be fine. We gotta go. There's a U-boat around. I'm not stopping for you. But that uh, actually is, I think, a realistic because there was this one incident I remember in the First World War. A German submarine sank like three cruisers I within like an hour or something because they just didn't they just weren't aware of the danger of submarines and one of them got hit and then the other cruisers came to uh, to assist and, and take on survivors and then the submarine just torped the the second boat and then the third ship did i guess the same thing and went again to and stopped to take on survivors and get torpedoed as well so all three ships were lost with all hands apparently and that submarine or that u-boat was a freaking war hero uh, i think this was one of the stories of uh, one, some of the first successful u-boat attacks in uh, in the first world war which um, is crazy to think about because people were so un unaware of the of the danger of a submarine, and so maybe that's the case. But I mean, there should be like just destroyers circling these lifeboats with sonar banging on and looking for the U-boat while the other ships try to rescue these guys. But I guess the, the game doesn't really uh, go into that much uh, realism. It it'll just sort of simulate a little bit uh, of the things going on but it's not uh, obviously in real life this would be they would be much more relentless uh, looking for me not giving up so easily and even though i am playing at very a pretty high realism i mean yeah my tower is probably pretty broken as well um yeah, I mean, we can probably leave Silent Running at this point. I'm gonna get off... I'm gonna get off Alarm as well. Let's get, let's get some normal lighting for these guys. Um, I don't need you at depth keeping. And... I can get you on navigation, get that navigational correctness up, and then... We're just gonna get a little bit of distance between us and the convoy. Alright! Perfect! Okay, so we're we're good. We're good. We're gonna surface uh, in the next episode and uh, get our repairs done. But that was a very fun little convoy attack. Uh, could have gone much worse. Was quite hectic, but we were able to destroy 
two freighters and a th and a um, and an and a V-class destroyer. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Just a fantastic game, by the way. If you haven't picked this up and you like submarine simulations, I highly recommend that this game uh, is great. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye-bye.